Hello, uh, kids. My name is Deacon Karen, and today's show, we're going to be talking about drugs, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, the first thing that I want to share with you is, what are drugs? We have good drugs, and we have what we consider bad drugs. And how, how do we determine if the drug is good or if the drug is bad? Well, we determine how the drug is good because when we get sick or when we have to take uh, medicine for different conditions, you go to the doctor. The doctor is the one that will examine you and he will see what's going on and then he will write a prescription. Now, the prescription is just for you. Just like in this bag, there's a prescription for me. It has my name on it. It has directions for me, and it has been made especially for me, not anybody else. So we, we never want to take drugs that belong to other people because we don't know why they're taking that. We don't know. We could have a reaction, and we don't want to have a reaction. So that's the prescription drugs. Now, we have other drugs, too, and those drugs sort of like this. It's sort of like these. Someone might try to share those with you, but you should never take drugs that don't belong to you because you don't know where they came from. You don't really don't know what they have in them and they could really be harmful to you. Now, why do we take drugs? We take drugs for different conditions. We take drugs sometimes because we have a headache, so we'll take ibuprofen. And sometimes we have aches and pains. We might take Tylenol, which we probably know as acetaminophen. Sometimes we fall down and we skin our knees and we need to clean that up and put some ointment on it so it won't get infected. Sometimes we take antibiotics and that, keep, that drives out infection and helps, helps us to be well. Sometimes we may have allergies, so we'll use a nose spray. Or we might have to use some eye drops. But you won't know exactly what you need to use unless you go to the doctor, let him examine you, and give you the right medicine. Now, the doctor is trained. He goes to school for many years. And you can also talk to your pharmacist when you go to the store. So let's talk about non-prescription drugs. You can go to Walgreens sometimes, and you can pick up Tylenol or uh, other drugs. You don't need a prescription for those. And you can always talk to your pharmacist to see, um, you can talk to your pharmacist to see what you need and they will be glad to help you. Now, this is another special drug that's just for Ms. Kern because I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Ms. Kern is allergic to strawberries and watermelon. Uh, when I eat that, I get really, really sick. And so if I, if I should eat that and not know it, I have this pen here that I would use and I would stick myself and it helps me to um, it helps me to not have the reaction or it helps to calm down the reaction I'm sorry so that's another prescription drug okay and I showed you this drug this drug has my name on it it tells me what, what it is it tells me what it's for it tells me how much to take it even tells me when to take it and that's the beauty of going to the right place, to the right person to get your prescriptions filled. Now, let's talk about some other things. I don't think, or I hope this hasn't happened to you, but have you ever had somebody come up and say, hey, take this. What, what did you do? I want you to think about what you did. We don't ever want to take drugs from other people. When you take drugs, they should come from your mom, your dad, your grandma, or your grandpa, somebody that you trust because you know that they're not going to give you anything to make you sick. When somebody gives you drugs on the street, you don't, like I said, you don't know what's in there. It could make you sick. It could even make you go to the hospital, and you don't want that. So I want you to remember that we never, ever take drugs unless it's from our parents or our grandparents or somebody that we trust. 
And where might you get those drugs from? What we call the bad drugs. Well, sometimes you can get those drugs in the park, or sometimes you may get those drugs um, at school. Sometimes it may be around your home. Uh, maybe you see your mom's prescription or your dad's prescription, but I really want to impress upon you to never take those drugs unless your mom or dad has given them to you. Or if you're in the hospital, the nurse or the person that's helping the nurse would give those to you. So let's do a recap. We have prescription drugs. Those are drugs that we get from our doctor. They have our name on it. They have all the information about us. They tell us exactly what to do and it tells us how long to take them. And then we have what we, what we probably call street drugs. And those drugs are not for you boys and girls because we want, first of all, we want you to be safe. We want you to stay healthy. And when you take drugs such as these from people that you know or that you don't know, you're taking a big risk. And we don't want anything to happen to you. So we don't ever, ever, ever take the street drugs. Now, I've tried to go over everything that I thought that you might want to know about drugs. But if you have questions, you can always email us at Kingdom Kids and you can ask the question. And if Ms. Karen doesn't know the answer, I work in a pharmacy and I've worked in a pharmacy for about 20 years and I will be able to get you the answer. So I hope that you have learned a lot in this short time that we've been together and remember what I said, only take drugs that have been given to you by your doctor for your condition. Those drugs are just for you. And you only take drugs from people that you trust. And that would be mom and dad, mom and dad grandma or grandpa. These drugs here is a no-no. And not only do I want you to have that information, I want you to share that information with your friends and with your family because we want everybody to be safe. I have enjoyed being here today and we will see you the next time on Kingdom Kids.